Happy holidays! Happy holidays! Happy holidays, butter buds from the Stoner Wifey and Penny. Today, we're going to be making a feast for my Christmas dinner, and I'm going to be sharing it with you. On our holiday menu today, we have butter rolls, charcuterie board filled with flavor. We have a beautiful beef tenderloin served with some mashed potatoes and vegetables. And for dessert, we have eggnog pie. <laughs> See all these ingredients here? Well, Butter Buds, I've named this recipe after you. This is going to be called the Butter Bud Rolls. I am so excited to be sharing this feast with you. The holidays and Christmas time is my favorite time of year, if you haven't already noticed. I'm pretty excited. Let's get started. Starting with our flour, we're gonna be making the dough into a nice ball for our rolls. Use a nice mixing bowl because this is what the dough is going to rise in after we're done making it. So we've got our flour, our yeast, and I'm going to add two teaspoons of salt. Using a whisk or a spatula, we're just going to quickly mix this, and this is going to be our base. I'm going to melt my butter. We're not going to have it super hot. We want to have it lukewarm. In my small pot here, I'm going to add my butter. Again, at a very low heat, my whole milk, one and a half cups. And I'm gonna do four tablespoons of honey. Three, four. Ooh. Just taking your whisk and stirring it up. It's gonna look really wet, but this is how it's supposed to look because we're gonna make this into a big ball and it's gonna rise. So I'm removing it from the heat now. This is looking good. This is what we want. And we're gonna add this into our flour mixture. I've got my pot here, my flour, yeast, and salt ready to go. I'm just gonna whisk up my two egg yolks and all of this is gonna be going into our mixture. Taking our mixture. Our egg yolks. With our spatula, we are going to just mix this all together, fold it up, and getting it into that ball. Now I'm doing everything from scratch. If you have a stand mixer, you can use a stand mixer, but personally, I recommend you do this by scratch. Get a feel for the dough, get your hands in there. Right now, the dough is gonna be pretty wet. That's okay, it's not a bad thing. Did I say whisk? Spatula, sorry about that. <laughs> going for it, this is looking great. Just really making sure you're getting all that flour. Just drizzling a little bit of flour, not too much. And we're gonna get our bowl out and ready to go. Woo! <laughs> so it's a little wet, but it's okay. Like I said, we're really going to whoop, mold. This. We're going to work it, get your thumb in there, really. We're going to be doing this for a nice 10 minutes. Press, fold, press, fold. Really get in there. I'm going to get a little more flour. It gets a little sticky, you add a little more flour. Okay, so we start to mold the ball here. You're gonna kind of knead it at the bottom. You want a nice flat surface because this is going to rise in our bowl. Oh my God, does it look okay? Oh. Every time I think it's good guys, it needs a little bit more. It's like one side, that's why I say, like you really gotta check it because you want a nice tight bowl, tight ball. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna start to work this in now. Where's my girl who gave me this recipe? She made it look so easy in the thing, and it's not. Just kidding, we'll do it. If I wanted to make it, I wanted to share it with the butter butts. Okay, that's better. That's more what I'm going for. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. 
Look at that beautiful ball. By the way, butter buds, it's my first time making this. I'm so nervous, but I got it. This ball is looking great. I'm going to add just a drop of olive oil just for the sides and we're gonna cover this and let it rise. Look at that, it's coming together. Really good. Bottom. Just a drop of olive oil, it's gonna help. We're gonna put it in. Now this is going to rise. I rolled my dough, I put my saran wrap over top of it, sealed tight. Placing it on your stove top helps the yeast rise. Next, la 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 la, our charcuterie board. Who doesn't love a nice charcuterie board? Watch this. So our dough is just about ready to be broken up into our rolls. We're gonna butter our pan, and then I'm gonna put the parchment paper over top of it, and we're gonna get to the rolls. Make sure your whole bottom is buttered down. This is gonna be your base. Some arts and crafts in between. Just like this, we're just gonna align our pan, just like that. My dough has been resting for about an hour. It's risen quite a bit. We're gonna take a look. Ooh. That's what you want. Look at that dough. I'm gonna take my dough, we're just gonna roll it out. See those bubbles? That's what we want, that's a good thing. Woo, would you look at that dough. So now I'm gonna go for about 12 to 15 rolls most likely 12. So I'm gonna take my dough now, and I'm just going to cut it in half. Off, just like that. Now we've got two halves. So if you wanna be particular, you can weigh them. There are 64 grams each roll. You can weigh them if you have a food scale, or you could just kinda of eye them. We're gonna fill our pan up as best as we can. So just, just like that. Just cutting them up, I'm gonna probably do 12. Try to make them obviously as even as you can. That one's a little big, I'm gonna cut a little bit smaller. And we're gonna roll these up into buns. It's all about friction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nine, ten. Now, these are pretty even, best as I can. You're gonna take them and we're gonna make them into little bowls having a pierced bottom, or should I say a pinched bottom. Finger, whatever is your better hand, but you really want to work with the table and the dough. But just kind of lightly, but firmly try the other hand. That's a little better. But really a constant friction twist or turn or roll, I should say. And it's gonna make the perfect bowl. Just like that, okay. There goes one. They are gonna expand, remember? So for all 12, you're gonna do it like this. Really roll it up. Don't let it get away from you. It really turned out great. I'm very happy with it. I'm gonna keep switching hands here. I'm empty dexterous, so I can do both. Hold on. You really want it to be smooth, not a roll and a press. You want to really just have it between your index finger, I mean, sorry, your middle finger and your thumb. Take your ball, throw her down, and just rotate it using the cutting board and the dough. I'm gonna need a bong after this one. Are we smoking this holiday? I hope so. 
I think there's a lot of food, there's a lot of booze, and there's a lot of green going on this holiday. Hope we're all staying safe. I know this isn't our ideal Christmas, but I'm having fun. I'm hoping I'm lifting your spirits this holiday. Just get in the kitchen. Get baked and get in the kitchen and make a feast. Whether it be the biggest feast or the easiest feast, it doesn't matter. It's all about the effort. So this is what we should have, our 12 rolls. I'm gonna egg wash the buns. This is just one egg and one tablespoon of water. We're just gonna drizzle these all over and see that we have a lot of space here. That is not a problem because these babies are gonna expand. Oh, I'm so excited, butter buds. Oh. I'm telling you, you're gonna make these now forever. This is probably gonna be the favorite stoner wipey recipe. These go great with a soup, they go great with meat, anything you really want, but I personally think they're gonna pair great with what I'm making for Christmas. Are you ready for it? These babies are gonna go in the oven for 20 minutes. This is going to be another wash that we're gonna have for after the buns come out of the oven. It's melted butter and honey and salt. We're gonna top them off with this sauce. Ooh, butter. So as that starts to melt, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of honey. This is the sweet taste we're gonna get out of these buns today. One more. Can you believe it? We're only at the appetizer. We haven't even started the main course yet. We want it to thicken up. So don't worry. Again, at a medium low heat, you don't want to have this too high. We're basically just mixing the butter and honey together to make a beautiful glaze for the roll, for, the, for our buns. Melted butter, salt, and honey is gonna be used for the top of the buns. Doesn't this look good? Mm, smells good. So I've just put those buns in the oven. How about a session? Happy holidays, happy holidays. Because it's a special occasion, obviously I'm bringing out the Illidel. Cheers, butter buds. Click that like button and subscribe now. I hope we're all enjoying our holidays and spending it the best way we can this year. We just wanna say Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year from the Stoner Wifey and Penny. So I left them in for 10 minutes extra, so a total of 30 minutes. I have a golden brown top, that's exactly what I'm looking for. So we're gonna take them out and take a look. Ooh, these look good. So I've taken these out of the oven. These look great. We wanted a golden brown top, that's what we got, and it smells amazing in here. Oh, it smells so good. Brush them again, really drizzling them up. Oh, these look amazing. Really getting it all over. Yeah, they're just breaking apart. That's great. And just as a topper, we're gonna add some sea salt. Ooh, ooh, butter buds. Pretty proud of myself. Now to the main course. I've got a beautiful beef tenderloin here from our local butcher in town, Happy Mango. Shout out to the team there. We have 
some mashed potatoes. Who doesn't love mashed potatoes? I've got some vegetables here, carrots and leeks. Starting with turning our oven up to 425, I'm gonna get my potatoes in the pot ready to go and boil those, and I'm gonna marinate this beautiful beef tenderloin with a garlic butter sauce. My potatoes, drop them in the boiling water. I have about six here, like I said. It is just my love and I eating, so not too many. Just gonna prepare my vegetables quickly. I've got some carrots and some leeks, starting with some olive oil. I'm just gonna throw over top of the beef here. Pat it down with some salt and pepper. About a teaspoon each. And now we're just gonna use our hands and get all over this. Really rub it down. That's gonna be our start. And I'm gonna make the garlic butter now. Got my melted butter here that's just out of the oven. It's a little hot. I'm gonna crush my garlic in there. About two to four cloves. I'm gonna go all out. So I'm gonna use four. Oh, garlic and butter. Always a good combination. Some salt and pepper. Oh, it smells so good. So I just tossed my vegetables in here. I'm not gonna do it with beef. I'm gonna do it in a separate. These are carrots and leeks with olive oil, salt and pepper, and some Italian seasoning. My garlic mixture here is ready. I'm just gonna pour it, drizzle it all over the beef here. Let it all fall. So I poured my mixture over. I'm gonna fold my little handles in here. This is a three pound beef tenderloin. I'm gonna cook it at 425 for 40 minutes. So I'm gonna cover this and we're gonna get it into the oven. for 40 minutes. If you have a meat thermometer, grab it now to check your meat. Hey Butter Buds, have we taken a look at my Christmas tree? It's my first one this year with my love. The holidays, if you haven't noticed, is my favorite time of year. I love it, everything about it. That's why we're going all out with the food, with everything. Season's greetings card, Christmas card, where's Penny? If you haven't already, click that like button and subscribe. Are you excited for the holidays, Penny? She's pretty excited. <laughs> Do you enjoy? Are we liking this cute little Christmas tree? We've got two Christmas trees this year. Are you cooking up a storm? Who's cooking this Christmas dinner? Who's cooking this holiday? Are you having a big feast? Are you having a small feast? Household only, a small group of you. Stay safe. Wash your hands and wear your mask. From the stoner wifey. We're all in this together. I hope I'm lifting your spirits a little bit with this feast I'm making. That's our timer. And it's definitely ready now. Let's take a look. Keep the vegetables in there for a little longer. Looking for 150. The countdown, the countdown. Oh, boom. We're there, we're there, we're over top of there. Perfect, perfect. All right, now that that's ready, I'm gonna put this all together. Let's cut into this beef tenderloin and see how it looks. Not too pink, not too well done. I like it. Little fix piece. Try this one. Oh, that juice. I 
would say this meat was cooked perfectly. Just the way I like it. I don't like mine too well done. I do like a little bit of pink. It smells delicious. And Penny is right by my side here, just begging for some. And that is our beef tenderloin today. Thanks, Happy Mango. I feel like everyone does their mashed potatoes differently, so I usually just make it up. I do it as I go. I add the butter, I add some milk, and I add some salt. I know some people are really against milk in mashed potatoes, but you know what? I think you need it a little bit. You need a little liquid in there. Oh, also, can't forget the most important ingredient, your garlic. So I've added two cloves of garlic, about a quarter cup of milk, and some salt and butter. Base test too. See what needs to be added. It's pretty good actually. It's a hit and miss with my mashed potatoes sometimes, so this one's a good batch. You still got room for more? We're not done yet. We've got dessert. This is our dessert I'm gonna be making today. It's going to be an eggnog pie. I'm gonna be using a pre-pie shell today for our eggnog pie. We're gonna cook this in the oven at 400 for eight to 10 minutes. So I'm going to build the mixture for our pie, which is we're gonna start off with gelatin and water. A little gelatin pack, one of them is good enough. You're gonna add it to the water. In a saucepan now, we're gonna make our base. I'm gonna turn it up to medium heat. I'm gonna add my sugar, two cups of eggnog, the best kind, PC. One. And I've got my mixture here of cornstarch and salt. Sprinkle that on. We're gonna bring this up to a boil and it's gonna really thicken up. This is going to be our pie filling. Really making sure you're getting that sugar all mixed in. We want it nice and smooth. Now I'm gonna add the rest of the ingredients. It calls for a teaspoon of nutmeg. Sprinkle that over. We have a teaspoon of cinnamon. I have a teaspoon of rum extract and a teaspoon of vanilla. Bring this up to a boil and let it thicken. Pie crust is ready, so I'm just gonna take it out gently. And we're just gonna let it sit there. So I brought it up to a boil. I'm gonna remove it off the heat. I need this to be at room temperature. Do not throw it into your pie crust this hot. That is still pretty hot as you can see. So we're definitely gonna to need to let that rest. That gelatin we had setting in water, we are gonna add it to this mixture. And this is what's gonna make it stick together. We're still simmering this, but we need to add in the gelatin. As you can see, it's really started to thicken up, and that's what we want. Leave this for another 10 to 20 minutes and have it at room temperature. This mixture has cooled down and it's ready to be, it's ready to be poured into the pie. We're gonna pour it as evenly as we can. But just filling the pie shell up.
Well, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. I'm starving. Can we get to it? Ergen, are you ready to eat? He's been waiting a long time. So is my love over there as well. Be sure to follow us on Instagram, check out our website with our latest merchandise available now, and we have a rerun of our season one premiering on Instagram, getting ready for season two. April is not far away, Butterbuds. Be safe this winter, and I'll see you soon.